Welcome back. In between the parts, I've not had any other hiccups. So I think we're okay. So, let's see about Maya. Are you reading a letter, Maya? Oh, Instructor Reen. Yeah, it just arrived. It's from my father. Your dad? He used to be a captain, but due to the incident in Hamel, he had the misfortune of being discharged. Now, it's easy to imagine that being reinstated would recover his self-confidence and pride. Now he sent a letter to Maya. You can only imagine what it contains. Seems like you managed to figure things out like always, Instructor. I mean, I was going to tell you everything anyway, since it's not like I have any intention of hiding things. Essentially, he's saying I should drop out of the branch campus and immediately head down to the surface. I thought as much. If I don't listen to what he says, sounds like he's going to throw out all of my most treasured items, including some clothes that belong to Mum. My things did disappear when he visited me at the campus a while ago. I found that pretty strange. Well, we confirmed as much when we snuck in that one time. It's like, it was bothering me this. It's like, you need to address that. Could that have been the reason? I was quite perplexed at first. I thought that if Dad could return to the military, he might regain his pride and self-confidence. But he just doesn't seem like a good guy, drink or no drink. I, uh... I'm sorry to bore you with all this, Instructor. Don't worry, I have no intention whatsoever of leaving this ship. I'm sorry to hear about my clothes, but this might be the kind of thing that you're better off just ignoring. Hmm. Is that really the right thing to do? What if I should help? Help her out. Maya, I can go with you if you feel like you want to confront your dad. Regardless of how he's gone about it, I'm sure that your dad wrote this letter out of love. There's got to be some room for discussion, right? Hmm. You may be right, Instructor Reen. Even if it ends up with him breaking off contact with me, as long as I can have a chance to speak frankly with him, then it's worth it. Maya. Oh dear. Oh, we're actually going? Maya contacted her father, Joseph. He asked her to come to Rock Patio, located off Languedoc Canyon Road. I, I didn't expect this to just be like, boom, we're off. It's like, yeah, we'll see about it when we get down to the surface. Like, wait, 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 wait. It's like, hold on. So you came, Maya. I predicted you'd be bringing the Ashen Chevalier with you. Well, I couldn't help but notice how one-sided your proposition to Maya was. I'm just here to look out for her as her instructor. That shouldn't pose any issues, right? Maybe not, but I have no intention of staying to chat. I only came here because I wanted to know how sincere you were. Well, naturally, it's down to the parent to correct their child's misapprehensions. That blunt hard-headedness of yours reminds me so much of your mother. What I want is to give her... spirit. An appropriate send-off. I've decided that a contest between you and I will be the best way to see to that. A contest? What are you... My intentions are twofold. Firstly, I wanted to get you off the Courageous too. Secondly, I intend to show you that your marksmanship is nothing but a childish imitation of true skill. You've got a lot of nerve saying that to me. <laughs> Go ahead and prove me wrong if you can. If you can defeat me, I will return your belongings and allow you to remain at Thor's. But if I win, you return home with me here and now. Fine by me, but you're going to regret this. Now that's my girl. Alright then, allow me to set the terms. We'll be using rubber bullets, and both of us will work with a spotter. It's a team effort, huh? Guess that explains why you're here too. Should have known I couldn't hide from you, Schwaza. Major Lecter? Of course, you're Brigadier General Arundel's son. You must respect our father's history a lot to suffer through his company like this. You knew about that, Maya? Huh. You've really done your research. Well, that saves us an explanation or two. My dad owed Major Joseph a lot. What if it's Joseph? Helping him out. But this is the least I could do. And there's no need for you to feel indebted. But I appreciate you lending a hand all the same. 
So there you have it. A 2 on 2 sniping showdown. You're willing to participate, of course? Sure. I've got enough experience to come in handy here. It's the least I can do to support one of my students. And it's settled. Use this entire field as you wish. Anything goes. Once we've both decided on our starting positions, we'll begin. The winning team will be whoever lands the most hits on their opponents. Have it your way. Each team retreated to opposite ends of the field and the match began. For a while, they traded shots while maintaining a good distance, but then... Wait, Destructorine, I think they're up ahead. Yeah, I can sense them behind that rock. I'm going ahead. Wait for my signal. Lloyd. Phase one. Flushing out hidden foes. They're here, all right. Probably waiting for us to make the first move. If we go the wrong way, we'll leave ourselves wide open. What should I tell Maya to do? Pick, get, charging at close range when you're a sniper is bloody stupid. Pick them off from higher ground. I'll try to lure them out. Go to higher ground and get ready to pick them off. Open fire as soon as they leave their cover. Yes, sir. Tch, they've got themselves a good vantage point. This is nothing. Don't lose focus. There! Ugh, looks like the mage's okay, but really got me good. Our opponents have got to pass this point. When they do, cover me while I lead the charge. Understood, I'm standing by. These two ambushing advancing foes. Okay. This is our chance to gain a big advantage. We'll just have to get the timing right. Well, if it's an ambush, it's a surprise attack then. We'll set things up and take them by surprise. As for the timing... Now! Damn it, they got in before us. Where is she? There. Yeah, not bad. Joseph continued to dominate the contest with his prodigious skills. Despite Reen's best efforts to counter Lecter at every turn, the rival team started to take the lead. However, Mai refused to give in. It's going to be down to this one, isn't it? Yep. Final phase, standoff. I'm impressed you made it this far, Maya. I have more points right now, but why get so hung up on rules? What do you say? That's one standing wins. But only shots to the head or heart count. Have it your way. Won't change the fact that I'm going to win this. Guess that's our cue, Herr Schwarzer. But hand it to you, that unclouded eye technique of yours is pretty sharp. The eight leaf school is nothing to sneeze at. Thanks. Your instincts are a cut above the rest, too. You have a real gift for knowing where everything is at a given time. It's honestly a challenge to keep up. Ah, huh. oh, you're making me blush. This match has certainly been a lot more exciting than I expected. The playtime is over. It's time to settle this. This is it. No more second chances. How can I best support Maya? And if we're out in the open... Defense, then, because, like, again... It's a sniper. Like, they're good for, like, long-range, like, massive skill. Massive skill, ma massive damage is what I was going for. So it's like, yeah, yeah, you're not the offense here. She is. But she'd be very weak. Because, like, you can't move because you're a sniper. So it's like, yeah. Leave in my skills. I'll help keep her covered and let her do her thing. This is your battle, Maya. If you get hit, it's all over. If I have to take a bullet to protect you, I will. I'll support you right up until the very end. You got it, Instructor. A victor finally emerged, bringing the contest to a close. Right in the nuts! <sighs> That's... That I won. That was some magnificent shooting. Lecter, ice. I need ice. You've come a long way. I'm truly proud of you. 
and he got this far because I had Instructor Reen to watch my back. Looks like the spotter's match is a draw this time around. Maybe we'll get a chance to sell this score again sometime. Hm. Yeah, maybe. Our little competition is over. Maya, you may do as you wish from here on out. I will, but there's something I want to know. Why do you suggest we ignore the points? You were in the lead. If you'd kept the original rules, you would have won. <laughs> to tell you the truth, victory never mattered to me. My only real concern was whether you could take care of yourself. I still have my doubts, but it's clear to see you have the resolve to follow through on your own convictions. Those who fight without resolve have no place on the battlefield. And I see now that you won't falter in your duties. Besides, you didn't really think I'd throw away your mother's old kimono, did you? No, not even for a minute. Is that what you were trying to imply? Yeah, you're not exactly subtle, Major. You sure about this, Joseph? You know this means your daughter's going to be working against the Empire, right? I know better than that to try to change this girl's mind when she's decided on something. Just promise me you won't die out there, Maya. Of course, you too. I like that. Maya took back her things and returned to the Courageous 2 with Reen. It's like it was like a bonding event with Maya, but wasn't locked behind, you know, bonding points. Force unity rating increased. It's it's the points that's the issue. It's like, because, yeah, that felt like a bonding event with Maya. Like, advance her story, learn more about her character, more about the world. We get her some stuff with Lecter. It's like, yeah, that's cool. I like that. That stupid old man. Can't believe he actually had my best interest at heart. Thank you for going along with this ridiculous little contest, Instructorine. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Alright, what we got going on here? Hello? Weapon maintenance, huh? That's right. We may have to join the battle during this operation. Since we still have time before it starts, it seemed like a good idea to make sure everything works like it should. As for me, I've been commuting with my sword in an attempt to get some answers. Still haven't gotten over that wall, huh? I've been able to pinpoint the problem. When I cross swords with the main campus students, and help but be frustrated at how inexperienced I am. I could still hold my own, but I felt like there was something that they all had that I was missing. Hmm. Personally, I think you're giving this way too much thought, Wayne. You're doing fine. I remember how you used to be terrible at swimming. But you practiced and pushed through and overcame that hurdle just fine. Trust in yourself. That little extra confidence can go a long way. Stark. He's right, Wayne. No, I still think communing with your weapon is a good idea. Sometimes observing the condition of the blade and all its little nicks and scratches can tell you something about yourself. It works for me. I see. You must apologize. I fear I've been thinking about this all wrong. I'll take a step back, relax, and figure this out if it kills me. Remember, the goal is not die, okay? I mean, is the sort of person who constantly seeks to improve. I don't think you need to worry, Instructor. <laughs> you really get him, huh? Sorry, I tend to tense up when, with things like this. Uh, for the time being, I should go back to focusing on the basics. Pablo! Ah, Pablo. Nice to see you in the workshop. I, Teacher, and I are taking turns. When Gustav or on Panzat sold up major this duty, they never hold anything back either. But if urban operations is what you need, then you can just leave it up to me. Genuine railroad technician prodigy. A genius, even. Is that a roundabout way of saying you want to be in charge of all the maintenance? I guess you're pretty passionate about all kinds of engineering, huh? People tend to forget about it, but the railway will have my heart now and forever. It's like, Durfling has my heart romantically, but the greatest two is my best mate. That's an uh, interesting way of putting it. Indeed. Have a look -see. I will. We haven't got much. Let's... Oh. Because we did the quest, of course. See ya! See ya. I think we're done with you. Right. Selene. Ooh. I appreciate the help. Let's meet it. Selene? What's she doing in a place like this? Not sure what she's saying, but it sounds like she's speaking with someone. What's going on here? Maybe I should go talk with her. Yeah, so why is she wearing her blue ribbons? 
just want to see, like, maybe that's switched back because of things. Yes, it has. Bathing clothes? Like, no. Alternate color. Right. That's better. Celine, what could she be doing? Is she talking with someone? What's going on here? Maybe I should go talk with her. Hey, Celine, what in the world? Ah. <laughs> we'll be flying out then. It's close to the village, right? Yes, please. It's neat. A blue bird. Where the hell did it go? Bell. Close to the village. I mean, the barrel's a hint. Could be. Ballymar. The Asher Knight. Yeah, the barrel's a hint. We're going back to the Atelier, aren't we? With an idea of where the location could be, Reen hurriedly boarded Valimar and began searching for Selene. There you are, Selene. Huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> Getting distracted there, are we? Celine, let me help. No way, just stay where you are. Don't butt in when I'm training, got it? Wait, what? Let's make an exception this time, shall we? Tch. It was you all along, Vita. Well, duh. Would you like to try this again, Reen? Get on with it then, Celine. This isn't how it's supposed to go to- Oh, well. Now what's going on, but if Celine needs my help, she's got it. Reen took part in a challenging practice session. My, my, that was more satisfying than I thought it would be. We'll meet again soon, you two. <laughs> little wink. Phew, now you- can you explain what that was all about? Wasn't that bluebird? It can be a real nuisance sometimes, you know. She didn't entirely ruin things for me. I like got Alster's music. Why'd you come here anyway? So it was completely unnecessary to have Valimar send you all this way. You're the one who just disappeared without a word. I was worried about you. I had a feeling you wouldn't have done that without reason. And I didn't want to take any chances. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry I worried you. Wasn't that blue bird Vitus familiar? Yes, that was Grianos. An illusion of him, anyway. He was destroyed back then, but Vita managed to just summon his scattered energy. Recreating a destroyed familiar isn't easy. And I wouldn't put it past me to, to actually bring a new one into existence instead of conjuring an illusion. <laughs> yeah. Vita's definitely powerful enough. They're both very special. Giannis was created using unique manner in order to help Vita reach her full potential as a witch. My role was to assist Emma. I was given the ability to speak and to shapeshift. But I'm not nearly as powerful. So I decided to see my... Improvement myself. See, that's where you disappeared. To train. After what we learned at the Lunar Sanctuary, I could see no other choice. I have my pride and responsibilities as Emma's familiar, and as part of Rose's spirit. But that's not all, I suppose. What do you mean? I mean, you're as sharp as a marble, aren't you? Why do you think I went beyond my duty as Emma's familiar? Provide assistance from the rest of you. Why did I even go so far as to take on a human form for training? It's because there's someone I want to look after, duh. Oh. Sometimes I ask myself why I bother. It's worth it, though. Despite everything. I fought alongside you in the Civil War and stuck with you even after you graduated. As I learned more about humans, I discovered we shared certain values. I've changed. You changed me. Celine. 
I'll get you for that someday. You better promise me that you won't ever give up. Meow. Okay. I promise. If anything knocks me down, I'll get right back up so I can keep going. I'll betray the trust you have in me. I have no idea what fate has in store, but I'll keep on fighting. <sighs> and I'm sure you'll need my help along the way. That's fine, though. I'll be there for you. But I'm counting on you to stand on your own two feet most of the time, Reen Schwarzer. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. But that does count as a head pack because she's in human form. If she's kitty form, it's just it's just giving like strokes to a cat. After that, Celine turned back into a cat. They took a breather together and then headed back to the courageous tomb. Yeah, that's lovely that one. And again, like because obviously there's no hearts associated with the Celine bonding events, and it is just a simple case of like, yeah, like a, a similar to how I'd put where Toes is at the moment. Like she loves Reen. That doesn't mean like she's in love with Reen. The potential could be there, like with Toa anyway. But with Celine, it's like it's that sense of like that. that, that, that what's the It's that sort of like it's, it's platonic love. Is that what it's called? I can't. I can't remember what it's called now. Someone let me know what I'm on about. Typical. I was hoping to train in secret, but no, you just had to find me, didn't you? Anyway, this is no time for us to be chatting. We've got the second rivalry coming up. Right, gotta focus. Indeed. Right, so let's go back to the bridge and see what we want to do. Places to go, people to see. And we got quests abound, so. Quests, 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 quests. Act 3. Getting tasked, the radio stars reborn, I want to believe, clearing the airways. I might see about. I want to believe. I don't know. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Ooh. So what's old Agria Road? What's an old Agria Road? I'm trying to remember what's, what's there and what the purpose is. Do we have a... I just noticed, like, on the map there. So if we go to the... I want to go to the camp, because it's like, clearly the Durfling is there. It's on the map. That's cool. What's old Agria Road? What, 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 old Agria Road? That's Ordis. Radio, Radio Trista. Where's that? Do the details in person. Where, where's Monk? Assume it is that one. Yeah, that's that's a Lake Gala by road. Forest Coastal Road. Let's go see what's going on. On old Agria Road then. That's the main story. Well that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know how I am you know how I am with these things sometimes. Just terrible. Just terrible. Okay, let's see where we want to start. Just, we can go to leaves. Ah, that that's where he'll be. He'll be in Radio Tristan. I want some somewhere sort of short because um, time and stuff like that. Because obviously we've got a lot of rounds to do still. So, well, Santi could be short, but I'd want to combine that with everything going on there. Leaves is going to be a little longer. Alster. I imagine this is going to be short. We got around though. Ah, you're outside, so it's probably best to just head. Ins did I see an exclamation? It did. There's something going on upstairs. Okay, it might not be short. Well. Okay, I think this is how Ed Ed Edel said it to do it. Grow flowers, grow, grow flowers, grow. Yep, yep. She said if you give them water like that every single day, the most amazing pretty flowers will bloom. Isn't that cool? Hey, Mommy, do you think we could get flowers like this back home? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we can ask Adel what she thinks. When she gets back, she might give you some seeds so you can grow some of these yourself. Yeah, yeah, let's ask her. And guess what? Adel taught me all about how to water plants. 
I wonder if I can make super pretty flowers like these grow in my village too. I'll ask Ale when she gets back. She'll know for sure. Artem sure seems to have taken a liking to the rest lodge. It's no surprise. Ale is very nice and it seems like even Gilvan will play with him on occasion. Feel bad that he's bothering them when they must be busy, but it's also nice to know that there are such kind people around here. It's just as well he's making friends. Might not be able to go back home for a while. Indeed. Welcome to the Noche Rest Lodge. Gosh, I feel so nervous being left in charge of the place. Adel isn't here right now. She left on an important errand this morning. I think she's meeting up with her friend in Leaves, but that's about all I know. The least we can do is keep this place up and running while she's gone. After all, she's done for us. If it wasn't for Adel, me and the family would probably be sleeping in some ditch somewhere by now. The least we can do is keep this place up and running while she's gone. After all, she's done for us. Just let me know if there's anything you need. Anything we need. Let's, let's exchange this stuff because it's quite a bit of money. That we could use. Rains? Where is she? Oh, if it isn't the Ashen Chevalier in class 7-2. Take it you're reporting for the Crossbell Times right now. Actually, I accompany Grace here. Alright, oh, I might want to change up my group a little bit for this. But, hmm, things sure are taking a while. Guess this means the deal's not going too well. Alright, I've got to say that's got me kind of curious. Is that so? Well, it's not exactly unrelated to you all, if I'm being honest. So if you'd like, why don't you head upstairs? I will. We'll do that. Might be worth seeing who's upstairs. Yeah. Grace is working on a deal with a certain someone right now. Might even have to do with the Ashen Chevalier if you catch my drift. Perhaps you should take a look around upstairs. Who have we got upstairs? Oh ho ho! Oh ho! Okay, actually, let's go to Courageous. Who would we want for this kind of event? It's like, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want. I don't know if it's going to matter. Definitely want Randy in. Definitely want Tear in. Just like, who could be interesting with those characters? Gaius? It's like, Randy makes sense because he's met Nielsen before and Grace. Tita for the LeBurl aspect. Gaius because, you know, the church. Hmm. Arboros aspect? Crow because... Outside... Hmm. Trying to think like any potential possibilities that could come our way. Uh, he did... He did shoot the Emperor. Uh, you could be good as well. Ooh. It's a tough choice. I think his connection to Reen will be pretty important in terms of like, because he's the only one here with a Divine Knight. You're a Robber Ross. You're a Grouser. You're a LeBurl. You've met the guys before and your Crossbell. That seems the most logical choice in terms of what we've got going on. But I think we'll actually end this part here though. In the next part, we'll see about that quest. Ta-da for now.